Shalom, shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. The more honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, enabling the word and doctrine, and shalom and in peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. But in these plagues to come, yeah, they're not going to be driven away. So when we get to a, let's say, a new normal, you know, even, even deeper than this one, it's not just going to ping back, oh, we're back, you know, he's back in control. Yeah, he's got it all under control, because you know, he's not in control. He's control. He's in control of this world. Why? Because the Heavenly Father gave him that control. So who's ultimately in control? You know, Yahweh. Why? Yahweh Shai. Why? Because he said, all power in heaven and earth is given unto me. He's given unto the Son. And a lot of you Israelites, you know, quote unquote, believing Israelites have a problem with that. Have a problem with worshipping Yahweh Shai. But when... We know who's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy of that worthship. In fact, let's go into this first worship. It says, condition of being worthy, right? Dignity, glory, distinction. Uh, what? Live caption. All right, one minute. All right. Let me check if this is on or not. It was literally completely fine. I don't know what it's trying to tell me. Anyway, wor worship. Old English. Can I read that? <laughs> Condition of being worthy, dignity, glory, distinction, honor, renown. From weird, meaning worthy. Again, you know, I'm guessing on that, that weird typeset. Uh, Old English or Anglican, West Saxon, that typeset. That quote unquote font. Uh, the Latin script. Is what this is, yeah, that so called W, it's Latin script, O L D, yeah, that's English script. You've got the Hebrew script, uh, the Paleo Hebrew, meaning ancient Hebrew, and then you've got the Aramaic or Assyrian form, which is what you see in the Blue Letter Bible when you go into the Hebrew. Anyway, so it says, Worthy ship, sense of being reverence paid to a supernatural or divine being. His first record is C 1300s. So is Yahushai worthy of that reverence? Paid to a supernatural or divine being? Yes, sir, of course. Now, of course. But the point, the main point, my intended point, was that these things that are coming, yeah, they're not just going to disappear. Uh, as far as we've got now, uh, certain things might quote unquote ease up. <laughs> ease up. But ease up. You know, ease time is up. So he's got to come down with great wrath. So let's read that in Revelation 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Word to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Right, the devil, that adversary. And if we read in context, in verse 13, And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child. And right, we'd have to read up this is, um, there's, there's certain things in here that have been fulfilled, certain things are still yet to come. So when you see, um, make we see everything up until. Now, verse 6 has happened in real real life that we've lived. Right? The things that are written after are still yet to come. Right? It will come. It will surely happen. But, oh, that's an interesting thing at the bottom. You see America and Britain in prophecy. Maybe that's a video in itself. In fact, I might click on that in a bit. In fact, let, me, let me just deal with this. So, Revelation 12... And one, and there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars, right, clothed with the sun and moon. You now when a man has wisdom, it makes his face to shine. So that light, even Lucifer, you know, he's got some understanding of wickedness. Just like Jake, you know, wise to do evil, but to do good he has no knowledge. But this is Lucifer, which means what, a light bearer. So he's going to be put out, which is E, you know, the Eites, because that's allegedly a swear word according to YouTube captions, or it was at one point. But these Eites, you know, they have, they have light. They have a red light you know, on the left hand side. But Yahweh Shai is going to come with that true. He's the true Lucifer, the true light bearer, right? That light on the right hand side, that light that's going to make way for a perfect kingdom, yeah, an everlasting kingdom. Which we're in an intermission period from that, because when, when was that started? In 2 Samuel 7, read that. That's what I was saying. That. 
So wisdom is represented by the sun and the moon. Upon her head, a crown of 12 stars. It's in Genesis. Let me have a look. That was Joseph's dream. Oh, I got it. I got it in one. All right. Ge uh, Genesis 37 and 9. And he dreamed yet another dream and told it his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. So the eleven stars would be who? His brethren, you know, the children of Israel. So upon her head, a crown of twelve stars, it means this woman is representative of the nation of Israel. Right, verse 2, And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth and pained to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. Right, the seven heads represent NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. The ten horns represent the European Union, the EU. The seven crowns upon his heads. And his, and listen to this, this is, this, it says his. Yeah, so it's a masculine being. But let's find out. It says, in his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And who is it? Is that, that red Herodite. Well, no, a red Edomite called Herod. So you read Matthew 2, and it talks about the... It will skip to the point, Matthew 2 and 8, and he's... And he, verse 7. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he was making out like he was going to worship. In fact, <laughs> let's read that. Matthew 2 and 2, Matthew 2 and 1. Now should I get to the point now? I've gone all the way up. Now when Yahushua was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came three... Salaki, Salaki. Yeah, because on my head was, it doesn't say three. And what do I do? I say three. It says, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. Now everyone says three wise men. You know, you have this one. The, um, these three kings yeah, of Orient. Orient meaning the east. So if we're in the west, we're disoriented. But anyway, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem. It doesn't say three, but those three gifts. That's where people get that, that from. So lucky for the slip. So verse 2 saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and I come to worship him. Do you see that? I come to worship him. Now, were they going off there to worship him? Verse 3, when, when Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And Herod was what? When you do the history, you know, Herod was a client king. So he was actually an Edomite, a more, well, he was a chocolate-covered Edomite, because he was an Edomite on his father's side and a Jake on his mother's side, if I'm not mistaken. Now, so he, but he was a, a client king, so Rome had put him in. So he was representative of allegedly of Judah, but really he was he was working for Rome, because he was E, right, and is E. So he was troubled, man. He was fucking shook. Why? Because he knew as soon as that time comes, as soon as it's true king comes and it's his time is over right his time is done it said verse so we'll skip down you know, seven then herod when he had privily called the wise men inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared and he sent them to bethlehem and said go and search diligently for the young child and when you have found him bring me word again that i may also so lucky that i may come and worship him also so you see that now worship again, not that he wanted to, you know, he's being a devil, he was being subtle, he was using craft and trickery to try and get close to Yahweh Shai to kill him, that was his intention. Um, and where can we, no, we'll carry on, we'll carry on in this. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it was, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were coming to his, and when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshipped him. I, again, there you have it. Yeah, I didn't even intend for this to you know, be brought out, but there it is. It says, and when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. And being warned of Yahweh in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And we'll go. Verse 16 is just just to. Uh, no, 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 we won't. We'll carry on. 
It said, and they and they when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. And why didn't he go to Mary? Appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Right, so when we read about this drug and this devil, uh, the the beast and it goes to Rome, it goes into E's whole system. Right, so who was this who is this red dragon who is standing there to try and devour the child? Revelation twelve and four. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of the heaven, and did cast them to the earth, and the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered. So the woman's Israel, so stood before Israel, which is ready to be delivered, meaning what ready to bring forth a delivering a baby. For to devour her her child as soon as it was born. Let's go into that word real quick, undelivered. Revelation 12 and 4. That word for delivered there. Because you have different, again, you have different English words. So deliver. For fuck's sake, man. Satan, man. Both. There you are, demon. I ready to be delivered. That word is Strong's G five thousand eighty eight. TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. Not to be confused with that app, TikTok. Anyway, yeah, because you can have that word delivered. You can have it meaning like this one means, or you can be like salvation. So like, don't let that be a stumbling block. So it says to bring forth, bear, produce fruit from the seed. Alright, so see, so what the woman is given seed, you hear that Hebrew E? Yeah, it says, of a woman giving birth, of the earth bringing forth its fruits. Metaph, meaning metaphor, to bear, bring forth. And it says, you know, well, we've read it. It stood before the woman, which ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And that's exactly what Herod the Edomite did. So it said, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him, right? To devour him, like it says, man. Verse 16, then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wrath and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coasts thereof from two years old and under, according to the time which he did diligently inquired of the wise men. So he was trying to kill Yahweh Shai. Yeah, but did he do it? No, because <laughs> it wasn't set up like that, because he's the devil. And he wasn't he wasn't taking a W on that level. And he never will. And then we'll you know we'll leave we'll leave that bit there. But these I got I got off the initial topic I thought I'd get on. But these uh, Yahweh Shai is worthy of worship and these things that are, are to come after this, uh, which it goes into in Revelation twelve, will come just with, with a great surety, the same way it happened. It was set up that the things that were written aforetime time it did happen. Now the rest of it will be fulfilled. Verse 5, Revelation 12 and 5. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And her child was caught up unto Yahweh and to his throne. All right, and that's happened. Yeah, that's, the, that's the ascension right, into Hashemayim. Of Yahweh Shai into Hashemayim, into the heavens. Right, so all this that's come, to come still, yeah, it will come. For example, the war in heaven. You know, e and all his military prowess, trying to, <laughs> trying to, war the Lord and getting utterly brought up. You know, for you banyamyans. All right, so I pray it was edifying. And salaki about the, the all over the placeness. But again, I pray it was edifying. You know, until the next one, Lord willing.